Fashion designer Gianni Versace was shot on the steps of his villa. We believe the killer is Andrew Kanata. What has he been doing for two months? I handed the paperwork in to you guys seven days before Versace was shot. It's terrible. I hope they catch him. He's here. No joke. I'm sorry for all of us. I want my wife back. Stop! Ah! This project, it's a gift, dramatically. It has politics, history, sex, violence, fashion, design. I mean, for an actor and for any creative person, it's been a dream. Ryan encouraged us to mine the emotional story of each of these characters. There was a feeling that we were doing something significant. It's the first time in a long time that I felt so invested in something. You said? Yeah. Could you tell me if you were? I might. I am obsessed with all of the scenes with Darren and Max Greenfield in episode two. Scary, weird, weird stuff happening, and I love that. I'm gonna take a shower. Okay. One of my favorite things about this series is that I didn't know that Andrew had, had killed people before Gianni. There's so much about the story and what led up to this that, that I was completely unaware of. I think there's a lot to this story, even though it's 20 years after, that people will, will find a lot of resonance with their own life. Andrew is not hiding. He's trying to be seen. We understand this world very well, the passion. You dress your girls, I dress mine. We learned so much about Gianni Versace that we had no idea about before. He was a real disruptor. Let's fight. We're family. It's OK to fight. We fight. Doing this show has given me such a new appreciation and real admiration of his work and what he's contributed. Versace, yeah, brava. I've always been a huge fan. For me, it's an homage to him, to everything that he created. And my brother is still alive as long as Versace is alive. It's, it's riveting television with social relevance. That's something I feel very connected to. He's a future. And up until now, I've only dated the past. Who are you trying to be? Someone who can love.